All right, hey guys, this is, uh, this is Bill, and I would like to put this video forward just as a kind of a supplementary piece to uh, the other day's lecture on levels and using Photoshop and it's, you know, uh, navigating through it and all. So we talked about levels, and remember we got to that through the layers palette, and we came down and we used this little uh, black black white circle here. We clicked on it and we went down and we just added an adjustment layer to the, the document to start with. And we had our little levels box there. I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. All right. And then we, we use this to work with the tones. All right. Remember, we have our black point, white point, and gamma slider, which is the gray uh, shift for the image there. Uh, and we use those to kind of maximize the histogram. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull it over, yeah, just about to three because you can see here that that's where the uh, where the information for the darkest area is starting to actually accumulate. So that's where we're going to set the clipping. We're going to set, you know, the, the darkest area to where the, the image just starts to gain more information. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same with the white clipping. Now we have a little bit going up the side there, but that's okay because you know what? That's probably just uh, one of these little white pixels in here that really doesn't need an actual amount of detail in it. And it's probably so small that we won't even notice it. All right, uh, just so you remember, down here the output levels, remember these are nothing that we need to work with right now that they are just for a, uh, when you go to output your image if you need to do something with the the final uh, contrast mix down if the if the shadows are too dark or if the highlights are too bright this is how we would we would throttle those in all right so now that that's there I can come and I can play with my gray midtone slider a little bit Getting it darker looks kind of nice. Yeah, I'm just going to look at the face for right now because everything behind the face really doesn't matter that much to me. And that looks good. It's, I mean, just a, a little bit can do a lot sometimes. And that's that's something that we all have to keep in mind as we make these, these process steps. All right. Uh, you could also, if you wanted, I didn't show this to you in class, but if you wanted to move these around and actually... Uh, go into this drop down menu here and choose one of these presets go for it you know because if you know what you want to do say you you want to lighten your shadows that's what that's there for okay command z will will undo that if you want um, you know or if you want to make your midtones darker or whatnot you, you can read through these you can see what they are and some of them work out very well for you okay so don't be afraid to use those clicking auto does basically the same thing it'll it'll balance things to what the computer sees as being the right way. Yeah, so let's see. That's not bad. Yeah, but I think I'd rather do it myself. And then these are actually your your white point, black point, mid uh, gamma, uh, or gray point selectors. So if you knew exactly, like you knew there, there was a tone in here that should be white. Okay, you, like here on the pupil, you, you would assume that that would be white. So you could actually take this and sample if you just clicked and give you a little sampler and you could just sample inside there and it'll you know shift the hues. Now the reason it didn't work there is because this is a display that is showing things in a red, green, blue manner, and uh, that actually isn't white there, so I'm going to undo that so that it doesn't ruin it. But you never know, like j just clicking around with these sometimes will create some interesting shifts that might work for what you need you know it's always good to experiment all right now i'm going to go into my channels and go to the red channel i'm just going to look around and see what's where okay i'm going to pull this over just a couple spots there and then i'm going to go to the green channel oh big deficit right there that's what we were looking for so pull it to there okay and also, that's where the, the histogram starts to rise. That's why I left it there. Okay, and down to the blue. 
Um, blue I can pull in just a little bit, make it a little bit darker. Okay, and so let's just preview that. The, use this little back forth here. Click down, and up. Okay, it's it's looking better. Yeah, it's not so magenta, not not so much blue. Yeah, and so it's allowing us a little bit more area to see into the image there. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. And you know what? I think I might just call that good for that first levels adjustment there. Uh, I'm going to come over and let's turn this on and off and see the whole thing. I'm really not losing any detail in any areas that I, that I need to, to have it. You know, I'm looking down here at the trees and I'm looking, you know, I'm paying real close attention to the face. You know, all these little things that, that might affect or hurt the image. So here's, here's the image as it is there. Um, what I think I might try and do is see if lightening or darkening the face creatively will do anything else for this. So let's add another levels adjustment to the top of this. Okay. And this time, let's just see what happens if we lighten this. Okay. Now, we can lighten quite a ways for the background. The foreground, yeah, the, the actual subject, it doesn't accept it very well, but this will take a lot of editing. Now, if you want to go for a real creative effect, you might try uh, silhouetting some of those back buildings there and then just masking out or painting away the effect inside the face. But that's looking okay. Lighter now. Let's go just a little bit darker. I, don't know, I like my images just a little bit darker. Yeah, you know, turn it on and off. Yeah, this just gives it the the weight it needs. Yeah, you know? and I'm noticing that I am starting to lose some stuff down here at the bottom of this. So at this point, I think that's where I'll use my. I'll go into adjusting my mass there. So I'm gonna click there, make sure that's on. Remember, let's grab a a brush. We can open it up. Set your hardness down to zero. And then your diameter, let's just do that from the keyboard. Remember our keyboard shortcuts for making brushes larger or smaller. Uh, right bracket makes it bigger. Oops. Okay, and the left bracket makes it smaller. So I'm going to give myself a pretty big brush, give a little bit of spill on that. Okay, and then I'm just going to come down here, grab my hand tool. That's the space bar. I'm just going to paint right along the bottom. Okay, and then pull this down a little bit, right up along the side. Try not to let those things get too far away. Got to pull this in a little bit because the toolbox is getting in my way. Yeah, and it's just enough to bring back some of these little little differences that that I would like to have. Okay, I'm gonna make my brush smaller now so it fits inside this building. I'm just going to give this building a quick wipe down. That way we can see behind because I do think it's nice ha being able to see those. All right. Yeah, and I think I might change the opacity of this brush just a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little bit back on that. Or actually, let's go over here. Let's turn black into a middle gray. So middle gray, to get to that, if you see here you have HSB, that's hue, saturation, brightness. So to get a middle gray, you leave the hue and saturation at zero, put your brightness at 50. That'll give you a mid-tone gray. And I just want to paint some of that back in because it got a little bit, a little bit too blue, a little bit too, too much on that. So, okay, this is looking pretty good. So uh, that was just a quick reminder of how to how to mask, how to use the levels. Um, remember to to go through, surf the channels, make sure your your color looks right. Um, yeah, and we'll get to shifting the color creatively later. But uh, it's a good thing to be able to go in and, and make sure the color looks the way you want it to. Okay, so thank you, and the next video will have you know some different information.